Hi, I'm um, I was looking for a lift for my garage and I've got this uh, Benpack LR60P. I didn't see a lot of reviews on it, so I'd like to run you through real quick what I uh, saw on it and why I bought it. Uh, hopefully it'll help you make your decision. I'm just gonna, while I'm talking to you, I'm gonna run it up. Um, this one's installed in my garage. Um, if you wanna come this way and have a look, you can see that I've got the motor over here. It's mounted up on the wall and uh, just plugged into house current. Works really well on the house current. This is a 60P, it's portable. Um, and the difference between the 60 and the 60P, if you come over here, it's got a couple wheels here, lift it up on the wheels. And then it's got a handle over here. The handle goes underneath the nose right here at the front, lifts it up and it will roll back and forth. Now it's portable in so much as you can roll it around. Just to let you know, it's okay on this smooth concrete out on my driveway. These wheels were scratching the uh, brushed concrete. So if you have a nice driveway or you have stamped concrete, you're not gonna be running this all over. It'll scratch the hell out of it. But it is portable, it will move around. I don't know how much that feature is, but it's kind of nice. Um, some of the reasons I got it for my garage is I don't have a lot of overhead. If you pan up, you can see uh, the garage door comes in at about eight feet. Uh, this is about nine foot and a half. Uh, I considered a two post and I'll go into that in a second. I'm going to run it up for you. So here it is going to the top, empty. <laughs> So here it is, it's, yeah, that's fine, but it's, resting, uh, it's resting on the lock, it's not on the cylinder, that's as high as it goes. Um, I'm going to put a car on it in a second just to show you, but that's uh, 24 inches at the top, okay? Alright, so Matthew asked for the car on. Alright, so I'm going to put my E46 on, just for you guys that have lowered cars, me, for you guys that have lowered cars. Uh, I've got a, a two inch drop in the front. Looks like the bumpers are at about five inches off the ground, five and a half. Uh, I'm gonna drive it onto the lift. No clearance problems. I haven't scraped. So just tape uh, going on the lift. All right, so the lifting platform is 53 inches. On this car, the lifting blocks are about 53 inches, so it's pretty much perfect. Now we're gonna bring it up. So uh, well, that took about 30 seconds. We're all the way up. Um, we're just going to get the camera to come down low. I'm going to show you how much room there is to work underneath it. Come on right down here. All right, so here I'm on the creeper. I've got lots of room. I can reach everything. I don't have to reach far. Uh, I've got a transmission jack for dropping stuff out. I uh, just want you to come around to the back and down. As you can see up here, 
uh, there's a drop bar, so I, I'm able to get into everything. If I had it the other way around, I would be able to pull the transmission out, no problem on this. The only challenge would be taking the exhaust off, so um, no more working under jack stands for me. There's a demonstration. All right, so uh, anyways, that's how it works. Um, I've been happy with it. Um, I picked it up used for about 1200 bucks, which was a really good deal. It was only about six months old. Uh, it beats working under jack stands. Some of the things I didn't like about the two post, uh, I definitely prefer the clear floor. Um, I don't know how much more lift I could have got if you pan up here. You can see between that door, that's maybe 18 inches. So without having to remodel and put the door up higher, I would have got maybe another 18 inches of lift, so I could have worked on a chair instead of the on here, but it's not that much better. The one thing I didn't like about the two post was every time you drive in, you're gonna hit your door on that post. So you gotta be careful getting in and out. When, I've ha when I have this down and I park on top of it, it's like it's not there. Uh, and for my garage space, that's a, that's a, big, a big bonus. Uh, I don't have to worry about the overhead. I can still keep my bicycles and stuff hanging above it, so. Anyways, uh, I hope this helped you make your decision. I know there wasn't a lot of good uh, reviews on this online. I don't know, this is maybe not a terribly good one, but at least you got to have a look. Thank you.